Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here. Welcome back to another Counterside video. Okay, so uh, I figured I haven't been making any guides for Counterside. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. And it's not because I don't enjoy Counterside anymore, but it's just because the game is uh, in a very weird state right now, right? So uh, if you guys are not aware, some of the patch uh, happened. They are reverting some of it. So I figured, okay, maybe I'll chill for a bit. Uh, we just see how it goes. Uh, some things might stay, some things might leave, some things might get changes, and you know, adjusted accordingly. So why not make a PvP video? All right. So I'm. This is something that I do enjoy. This week, uh, we have Replacer King Meta. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't like Replacer King, which I understand. If you don't have Replacer King, it makes sense for you to hate Replacer King. Uh, for a lot of you guys who don't really get the counter pass last time and the only other way is to pull replacer king uh, It's gonna be rough. Is that a Mia leader? Okay, that's crazy. Okay, let me lower the music a little bit So yeah, uh, let's talk about replacer king. Uh, apparently a lot of people don't really know how to use him So I'm gonna show you guys uh, notice I have Kang set as leader right here and then we have awakened Hilde. So awakened Hilde will dash forward and do that Okay, Awaken Hilde and Mia is kind of crazy. Okay, so let me put this right here. I'm gonna try to put this. I will try to put the twins. I'll try to put my ranger. And I'll put Replacer King. So I got Replacer King last. If you guys saw, I actually got Replacer King last. Got kind of unlucky. So I'm gonna do this. Alright, just to distract the enemy. Uh, with the Kang right there. So, uh, what I'm going to do... Mia died. I'm going to try to place as many units as I can right right now. Right? Hopefully we take care of the enemy. Uh, I haven't activated Kim Hana Operator yet. So Kim Hana might not be the best. Uh, we can heal there, it's going to ult there. Okay, which is fine. So ideally, Replacer King, you want to use uh, him... In this particular manner, right? So you want to use him... Uh, Replacer King is very complicated. Like, he's very complicated because he can actually do a lot of things, right? Uh, he's like a siege. He's like a tower. I know it sounds crazy, but right now, like, you can see. I'm literally just putting him right here. Boom. Send in Kang. And then uh, we pretty much already won the battle. So, uh, Replacer King is able to do things that... He has unlimited range. So you guys need to know. He has unlimited range. He can hit enemy ship from far, uh, far away. So ideally, he in that case, he's like a siege unit, but he's like a tower unit uh, if you can make him stay. For example, with that Awakened Hill Day, uh, ideally, you don't want to get rid of the Awakened Hill Day too early, right? So we got 87,000 right there. Uh, one misconception that I see a lot of people talk about uh, regarding Replacer King, and this is something that I see being thrown a lot, being thrown around a lot, which I think I need to say something about this regarding Replacer King is like he only works with Blue Bridge Mark 2. This is a very, very false narrative, all right? So sure, Blue Bridge Mark 2 makes him really, really strong. But you'll be surprised. He actually, he's much more flexible than a lot of people seem to think. Like a lot of people seem to think that, uh, okay, if there's no Blue Bridge Mark 2, Replacer King is useless, which is not entirely true. Uh, I've seen him win some, he can definitely win some battles uh, in a lot of case, right? I've seen him done crazy stuff before. Okay, I did got lucky with Replacer King. Slightly luckier this time around, right? So I like to put out my admin rifleman sometimes. Notice this is my team right now. We have a lot of low cost units. So I'm gonna place my admin rifleman out here. And then we're gonna do this enemy as Replacer King as well. Which is kind of insane. Okay, so Replacer King again with unlimited range. Let me try and focus a little bit. Awakens your units right there. Alright. So... I will be doing this so we don't get as much damage and then do this hopefully uh, do some damage to the Awaken Seo Yun so let me see can I use Claudia okay so we're gonna use Claudia I'm gonna put uh, this character right here a little bit of extra character to try to get rid of the Pacer King at the back Uh, hopefully my Replacer King is still alive, which I am, okay. 
So this is a way tougher battle right now. Uh, enemy has. Whew. Okay, overflow is very annoying. That guy can dash to your ship, and if you don't get rid of overflow fast enough, that will happen for sure, right? So overflow, uh, I think is one of the strongest counter because he can annoy you and push forward. So ideally, you don't want your Replacer King to get harassed. Actually, Awaken Mina is also a decent counter, right? Uh, I would say these two characters are pretty, pretty alright. So uh, let's talk about Replacer King. What's the best gears you want to give him? Obviously, attack speed. Because uh, you don't want him, you don't want to give skill haste. I've seen some people give Replacer King skill haste. Uh, that's not the way you want to go with, ideally, when you're building Replacer King. Because... Having your ultimate or having your special skill cast more often is not really necessarily a good thing, if it makes sense. You want attack speed so that he ha attack or he hits more often. Okay, so let me do this. Uh, Ranger, Supporter. So ideally some sort of Supporter is going to be good. Okay, we did activate... Oof, enemy did activate a Replacer King there. Okay. Okay, so we need one more ranger to activate that. I need to activate my operator for sure. Okay, that orca is gonna be really really strong. So you can see this week everyone is running replacer team. Literally, uh, Spyra is very strong counter to this team. Spyra can do a lot. Uh, I don't think I'm able to win this one, so let's just proceed to the next battle. So the moment your Replacer King dies, right, just go next. Ideally, it's like... There's no point. Okay, let's go for one last battle. Hopefully, I can showcase uh, a proper... Proper timing one, a proper time one. Uh, ideally... If you guys notice, I'm using Kang as a leader. Kang... Z so this is like to force enemy to move first, right? So or else it would be like... The stall will be too long. Which might not necessarily be a bad thing, but it's just you just hate to have that uh, long stall. And if they can force Orca to come forward like this, as follows, it's not that bad of a thing. So I can also put a uh, more character there. Okay, that Lucretia is going to be an annoying one for sure. Okay, so Blue Bridge Mark Two, let's go. Okay, so I will need to reactivate my Ranger to Supporter all over again because uh, the Operator, right? So let me do this. So I ideally like to put my characters here. Uh, okay, how did they walk past? Okay, this is going to be a lot of damage. A lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Okay, so you want to place uh, surrounding the enemies if you can. That Spyra can be a little bit annoying depending on how, how it goes. Okay, we have Alt now. Alt is going to be quite crazy, so we send Kang again. Oof, Lucretia is right there. Okay, so... Uh, that's pretty much how you can deal with Shiyun, I guess, in a way. Uh, Awaken Ju Shiyun doesn't really... There's no one that really counters Replacer King, other than Replacer King himself. Uh, I would say it depends, right? Uh, E1 is a good one, but it really depends. Uh, ideally, stall teams, whoever that can stall. The only, thing, the only character or the only team that I can think of that really counters Replacer King right now is probably the Rush comp, if you're willing to go Rush. So... Like I said, Replacer King is most likely going to get banned tomorrow uh, after 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 this week, right? So that's going to be likely the case. Alongside with Kang, maybe Kang as well. My Kang is not the Rearm Kang, this is just a regular Kang. So you can see one cost right here. I have Admin Shield Man, uh, HP Defense right there. Nothing crazy, Anti-Sniper on Kang. Uh, we have Claudia for the heals. Full Evasion on Twins. Maybe I should show some stats. Uh, this guy with uh, Attack Speed. Replacer King, of course, with attack speed, so that's what I always prioritize. I do have uh, attack speed as a little bit of skill haste there, but I feel like going crit damage might be the ideal one. But you don't really have a gear that's, you know, specifically catered towards uh, him. 
it's just an that's just an awakened Xiao Yun gear, right? HP defense on uh, admin sword fighter also have uh, this is Lyudmila with the skill haze, and yeah, if you have Gabriel Jun, Gabriel Jun is also quite strong, quite a good pair with Replacer King as well. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of Replacer King overall. Ideally, very very strong character, and hopefully you guys you know learn something or two from watching this video. I hope. Uh, depending when he comes back from the ban, he does fit very well with uh, a bunch of operator. But Serena crew does counter him. If you are looking to counter Replacer King, Serena crew skill seal silence. Uh, ideally, that's going to be the best way to deal with him. But yeah, I'm off. Take care. I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Subscribe. Give this video a like. Have a nice day. Goodbye.